Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nima, for those of you guys that are new. Today, I'm going to be just playing with a bunch of makeup that's new to me. And we're just gonna do like a quick, like get ready with me, trying a bunch of first impressions. Um, most of them are new, but some of them are kind of like makeup that I kind of was just like, mm. Am I really interested in this? That's what we're gonna be doing today, so if you guys wanna see what we come up with, make sure you stay tuned, and do not forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and join the family. So we're just gonna go quickly through the base routine. I'm actually gonna be trying a new foundation today. Today's video is actually in collaboration with e.l.f. We have some of their new highlighter palettes here. These are the Gleam Glow Gleam Beam highlighter palettes, and it comes in the shade Dark and Light, which I actually really like. I actually appreciate the understanding that different shades of products work for different skin tones, and they do the same thing with their blush palette that I love. And then they got these new multi-use sticks, so you can use them as highlighter, blush. I'm using this one as highlight as blush. I'm gonna use this one as highlighter. This one is in the shade Luminous Berry, this one right here, and then this one is in the shade Bronze Radiant. I already primed my face with the Sicily Primer. I think I'm gonna take an oldie but a goodie, the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Just take a little bit of it. I'm just gonna put that in my pores. Gonna go ahead and take the shade bron Radiant Bronze from the Elf Stick. And I'm just gonna just add a little bit to my cheek point, cheek points. <laughs> add a little bit to my cheekbones. A little bit on my chin. And then we're just gonna buff that out. So I'm gonna be using the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. This isn't a new product, but it's a new shade to me. They added a shade NW60, which is I think their deepest, deepest shade right now. I think they added this, how many? I think last year. I think they added this last year. Um, I just never got around to trying the actual shade. So let's see. All right, so that's the shade right there. I'm just gonna dot that on. I don't know, for some reason with like foundations now, the pure Love Your Selfie has just stepped up the game for me. And I just don't like, I have a specific routine now that I'm like obsessed with. And I don't think matching to my chest is an option. It's an option, but it's not something I prefer now. So it's kind of just like, mm, I think this one's gonna be a closer match to my chest. So I'm just gonna blend this out. It kind of reminds me of the NW58 still. Also, I don't know why I always have to say this every time I use a MAC foundation, but I'm still salty about them discontinuing, um, not the Studio Fix, but the Match Master in 9.5 and 10. All of my dark skin girls know that was the literally GOAT. I love that foundation and they discontinued it. I was like, why? They were like right, I actually went in there so many times that looking for it that they were like right to the customer service and tell them that you want it back or something. And I was just like, that's the most. That was like my favorite foundation back in the day. Maybe one day I'll complain enough and they'll bring it back, Mac. I don't really have a new concealer that I wanna try, so I'm just gonna use my Cover Effects Power Play. Yeah, if you haven't tried this concealer, this concealer and the Too Faced one are bomb if you haven't tried them yet. I definitely recommend them. They give you a good amount of coverage and they have a good shade, shade range. Have you guys seen that meme where people are painting like the clown on their face and it's like, this is how I look when I'm doing something stupid or I don't know, something along those lines. I'll try and see if I can find one of the memes, but it's hilarious. And I feel like that every single time I put on my concealer because I have to like put it around my mouth because my mouth is a little bit darker. Usually I highlight the center of my face with my Too Faced concealer, but since my foundation is closer matched to my chest today, I'm gonna put this, the Too Faced powder, I said concealer, I'm gonna put the Too Faced powder all over my face to set my entire face, and I'll use something else that's a little bit lighter to set underneath my eyes. I'm gonna use the Pure um, Translucent Loose Setting Powder.
Then I'm going to take my Prime Beauty Bronzer and I'm going to bronze this face. Bronze. This bronzer works well on foundations that are lighter than my face. Like it's so it it's so good for foundations that I use that are lighter than my face. When a foundation matches my face, it kind of gets lost in the sauce and mm, it's not as exciting anymore. All right, so brows are off camera and I primed my lids already. I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure I blend out those little lines. And I'm gonna use the Melt Cosmetics um, Impulsive Pressed Pigment Palette. So I actually got this palette in PR and I thought the layout was so cool. So I'm actually gonna be trying this palette today and I'm gonna try and step out of my comfort zone, use some greens, maybe use some blues. And yeah, I'm also gonna be going back into the Alyssa Edwards palette because this blue, it needs to be used. I'm going in with the shade Bold, which is this shade right here. And I'm gonna put that onto my brow bone area. Next, we're going into the shade Boss Lady, which is Actually, no, let's go into Dream Big and then we'll go into Boss Lady. We're taking Dream Big right there. I really love the formula of Melt um, eyeshadows. They're really, really good and they're super pigmented, so I'm always down to play with their eyeshadow palettes. Let's go into the shade Boss Lady. Boss. I'm a boss. We're just gonna pop her right in here. Oh yeah. Oh yes, that is a pretty shade right there. I love a dark smoky red in the crease. Look at that shade in the crease, you guys. Like, she's coming on vacation with me. Going back into Dream Big, just to buff out any of the harsh lines, and it's also gonna give us a nice little gradient. Now we're gonna go into the Alyssa Edwards palette, and I'm just gonna use that blue shade right here and see what we get. And just as a little tip, as I get closer and closer to like these deeper shades that I add into my crease, my brushes get smaller, like way smaller. So I start off with this really fluffy brush right here. This is from Sephora. And then I go into this other Sephora brush right here, which is a little bit tinier than the other one. And then I go into this even tinier brush right here which is from Morphe, and that's really how I've been able to control where I place my eyeshadow and get into the exact place that I want it to be without like looking too messy and all over the place. And then I'm gonna take this shade right here called Tipsy from the, that Melt palette. I'm gonna pop that right in the center. She's pretty. I'm gonna go into the shade Dream It again, which is that blue shade from the Anastasia pal Anastasia palette. I'm gonna, I'm just packing that right in there. Let's take this smaller brush right here, and we're gonna go into the shade Boss Lady, and just buff. This Pat McGrath blue liner, and I'm just gonna pop that right in my inner waterline. Both eyes are done now. We're gonna go ahead and just 
highlight a little bit. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Glow Gleam Beam Highlighter Palette. There's shimmers and metallics in here. And you could do a soft, subtle look and a medium luminous look or an intense highlight look. I'm gonna do a little bit of both on different places of my face. I'm just gonna take that right on the highest point of my brow bone. I really like that right there. That looks so good. And I just keep blending until it almost looks like I was born like this. Because I just really hate like a harsh highlighter line. Just keep blending, just keep blending, blending, blending. Mm, I think we're there. Look how good that looks. Yes. And this highlighter is only $5. I can't. This highlighter palette is only $5. So then I'm gonna use the same shade and I'm gonna use this shade, which is a little bit more of a glitter. So it's just gonna add a little bit more pop to it. Oh my God. Can you guys tell how much I love highlighting? Are you guys ready for the transformation? It's coming in three. Two, one. So I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath Gel Liner in Black Coffee. And I'm just gonna line my lips. And I'm not using any lipstick today. I'm just gonna go in with this NARS Working Girl Multi-Use Gloss. I think you can put it on your lid, you can put it on um, your lips. And it's not really like a wand, it's like a spatula kind of thing. So I'm just gonna put that in the center. Alrighty guys, so this is our finished look. I did not think that it would turn out this good. I love it. I feel like this high, oh, this highlight, elf, yes. I'm obsessed. These eyes came out beautifully. The lips are just perfect for this look. I really like it. I hope you guys really enjoyed it too. This was fun. This was just all about the makeup today. We just used makeup and I had a really good time. I really hope you guys did as well. Just saw some new things that you guys might wanna try. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And thank you so much to e.l.f. for collaborating with us on today's video. Make sure you guys check out some of these new e.l.f. products. You can find them in store at like CVS or buy them online. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love and I will see you guys on my next video.